Hazel Walker. She, at halftime, would challenge anybody from the stands. She, she, she would shoot 15 standing, 10 kneeling, and five setting. And I never saw her beat. Hazel Walker was a legend. There was no lead for women's professional basketball. Uh, and rather than just relying on what was out there, Hazel was an entrepreneur. She created something all of her own as an owner, manager, and player. And from 1949 until 1965, she barnstormed all over the country, playing only men's teams and winning 85% of her games. We actually played hardball against these men. Not that we could keep, compete with them strength-wise, you know, like rebounding and that kind of stuff, but we could outscore them, because we all, everybody on the team could shoot. And uh, I know I, I would average scoring 45, 50 points a night against men. Uh, she chose the, some of the finest women basketball players all over the country many of those that had been in the AAU ranks but had nowhere else to go. Some went straight from high school to Hazel's teams. Uh, their schedule was 220 games a year. Now that's two and a half times an NBA schedule. You hear these people say now, they, you know, their legs are tired and they got to rest so many days and stuff like that. We played every night for six and a half months. We played hurt, we played, I played with spring decals, everything else. You had to because there was only seven of us. The first half of Hazel's games, they would do a lot of showboating, a lot of globetrotter type, type activities. We tried to integrate something funny in each quarter. You know, like we had a football play and we would line up, they would line up, and then I would back off like the quarterback and shoot a, a long, mostly, most of the time for my almost center court. But the second half, they said, was straight up basketball. Straight up competitive, full court basketball. I don't think I would have enjoyed it if it had all been fake, because I was too much of a competitor and wanting to win. <laughs> Everything was going great. And then Hazel decided that at 50, her game wasn't what it used to be. And she didn't like the idea of continuing the Travelers if she wasn't a part of it. Just couldn't see the team continuing without her. And so therefore ended the Travelers in 1965. A woman today has every opportunity in the world to be whatever they want to be. If you want to be a good athlete, you got to work for it. No matter what you do, you got to work at it. And back in my day, you didn't have that choice. And nowadays, everything's wide open. And I would say, go get it. If you want it, go get it. <laughs>